Astra first came on the scene as a secretive rocket startup out of California, but it had its moment in the spotlight soon enough, as it was competing in the DARPA Launch Challenge, which was designed to give America a rapid launch readiness capability. The design of the challenge was to fit the entire rocket and supporting equipment on the ground inside two shipping containers, and Astra made it within 53 seconds of launching their rocket and winning the prize. But due to a faulty sensor reading, they stood down from the launch and the DARPA launch challenge prize of $2 million went unclaimed. Now normally this would have been a setback, but not necessarily the end of Astra's career. But this challenge happened on the 4th of March, which as you know, was almost exactly the start of the lockdowns in America, where Astra is based. This meant that an already cash-strapped rocket startup had to compete with a months-long lockdown that turned its couple of week turnaround with a launch expected in mid-April to finally getting back to flight activities all the way in September. So already there was a lot of pressure on Astra for this launch and it became even worse after the rocket was auto-terminated by the flight abort system only about 15 seconds into the flight. This loss was now Astra's second rocket failure, with the previous rocket being lost on the test stand during a wet dress rehearsal. Astra was now on its last legs financially, so a lot of eyes were on the launch of Rocket 3.2 at its Kodiak spaceport this past week. Yet, Astra performed brilliantly. They managed to get all the way through second stage engine shutdown, but there was one small error. The fuel mix in the second stage fuel tanks was slightly oxygen rich. This meant that it didn't achieve the delta V required for circular orbit and crashed into the Pacific Ocean 21 minutes later. There was a lot of initial confusion at first as Astra claimed to have reached orbital space, which really doesn't mean anything, but I get what they're trying to say. They reached an apogee of 390 kilometers which is definitely in space. And they also have to play it up to investors, who no doubt are pretty interested by the result of this launch. It's important to note that the launch of Rocket 3.3 will be carrying a live payload. As Astra says, there are no hardware or software changes necessary, only a slight change in the amount of fuel required for the second stage. It really is important to say just how close Astra got to orbit. They were only a couple of seconds of engine firing away from achieving a stable orbit. Now this comes as the small stat industry is seeing a huge revolution. We've just seen Rocket Lab recover a booster from an actual flight. And we're also seeing Firefly and other small launchers really starting to become competitive. So. I think the question that really needs to be answered is, what is the future of the small sat industry? We've seen rockets like Vega and their small spacecraft mission service proof of concept flight that launched a ton of small sats into low earth orbit, and also larger vehicles like the Falcon 9 and even Starship atmosphere for small launch providers. But there is a market for smaller spacecraft. A lot of missions need the specificity that a rocket lab or Astra launch can provide. And Astra does have the unique capability of providing a quick launch almost anywhere in the world. I do think the small sat launch market is a bit saturated at the moment, and it is going to be facing a lot of pressure from the larger launch providers that can offer cheaper services just due to economies of scale. And Astra has recognized this. In their proposal for the Air Force's AF Works program, which seeks to foster innovative ideas, Astra's proposed a three-stage to orbit rocket that uses a modified first stage of their vehicle sandwiched between the existing first and second stages to deliver up to four times the payload to some synchronous orbit. This would mean an increase from 25 kilograms to roughly 100 kilograms. This would make it inferior to Rocket Lab's about 180 kilograms to a 500 kilometer sun synchronous orbit, but it would be a big improvement over the 25 kilograms it now currently offers. Their next rocket is almost complete, which means that in the words of an Astra blog post, 
Astra can immediately begin delivering for their customers. They've already contracted over two dozen launches with a hundred spacecraft, including two launches from the DoD funded by the CARES Act out of all things. This mostly successful launch is a beacon of light to everyone working at Astra and I really wish them the best of luck on their new rocket and hopefully they'll be able to have a flawless next launch and we'll all be able to see them join the elite group of companies that have launched payloads to orbital space. I'm Cosplus Content, wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, signing off.